The sun is the primary natural source of energy. One hour of solar radiation at the top of the atmosphere is greater than our annual global energy consumption. Our photon is now at the top of the atmosphere. It will interact with the atmosphere that may absorb or scatter it, potentially preventing it from reaching the ground. UV high energy photons are partly absorbed by the ozone and impact human and animal health. Australia's proximity to the equator combined with fair skin population means the danger of skin diseases. Australian government agencies, the Borough of Meteorology and Arpanza use CAMS UV service. They've developed a smartphone application called SunSmart, reaching nearly half a million downloads. If not absorbed or deviated by scattering, our photon may contribute to solar energy. Even with a clear atmosphere, gases, water vapor and aerosols can absorb and scatter our photon. The CAMS McClear service predicts clear sky surface solar irradiance worldwide. It accounts for over 200 registered users for more than 3 million automatic requests in 2018. Clouds are also obstacles for our photon to reach the surface. The European-funded project GeoCradle has developed a solar radiation now casting system. It has been demonstrated in the Egypt region with the Ministry of Electricity and Renewable Energy by the provision of the Solar Atlas of Egypt. SENSE provides information for existing and future solar power plants. Based on SENSE and CAMS data, 20 government areas are targeted for the construction of photovoltaic farms. Our photon can travel everywhere including cities where more than half of the Earth's population is living. Shadows from buildings and orography are affecting solar PV or thermal rooftop installations. The European-funded project NextGeos allows computation of rooftop solar energy potential in complex environments. The French SME in Sun We Trust has endorsed this initiative of high-resolution solar cadastre for urban agglomerations in France. The EuroGeo and GeoVision for Energy Geo initiatives address the Sustainable Development Goals and exploit European infrastructures including CAMS, C3S, Ease Emissions and DS. The European-funded project eShape gathers 54 institutes and companies to develop 27 pilots organized in seven showcases addressing numerous SDGs. Two energy pilots on solar energy will be developed one, extending the sun's application, and one, addressing the photovoltaic high penetration in urban areas. 